Welcome back. We're continuing the news. Following the implementation of new curfew hours in Manchester, the Municipal Corporation is now looking back at where the parish went wrong in managing the COVID-19 pandemic. With more than 10% of confirmed COVID-19 cases over the last two weeks in Manchester, health officials say COVID cases are now burdening the parish's health facilities. In retrospect, Mayor of Mandeville Donovan Mitchell seems disappointed that residents did not heed the warnings. We didn't have to come to this. We have been saying, wear your mask, keep the social distance. The parish recorded 125 new cases between January 10 and 24. With this rapid increase in numbers, he believes it's obvious how the parish reached this grim position. I have been saying to the people, the funerals, the grave diggings, the day raves, the nightclubs are some of our problems because when you hear of the individual cases that has come up, uh, granddaughter would have gone to a party and you know we have some big yards in the parish and some big yards in all over the country and when you go back home and you would have um, caught the, the, the virus and grandpa has it and then grandma auntie and her entire family it's believed that this practice also led to spikes in other parishes, including Westmoreland and St. Anne. He also blames visitors to the island who give fictitious addresses or phone numbers with the intention to disobey the quarantine protocol. However, Mr. Mitchell says in addition to the current extended curfew, the municipal corporation will be stepping up its enforcement measures. The matter of some cook shops and some of these places that are having these cookouts and people doing cook shops from home and all of that. The Ministry of Health will be out and about to make sure that some of these areas follow the protocol, the hand wash station, the sanitizing of hands and all of that because we can't take the people's health for granted. And there's too many problems that we are encountering right now because persons just float in the law because of the sake of money and money cannot buy life. He's hoping that with the increase in numbers and enforcement measures, there will be behavioral changes going forward. Dashen Hendricks, TBJ News.